Hey everyone, it is TechWares, and today is January 17th, 2025. UDNA architecture is going to revive the Radeon flagship graphics cards line. So this is going to be next-gen architecture. This is after RDNA, right? This year, actually in, in maybe this week or maybe next week, AMD is going to announce RDNA 4 architecture. However, they're going to be skipping the flagship Radeon graphics cards, all right? But the next generation UDNA will re revive revive the flagship GPU line and it's going to be on TSMC's N3E node, all right? This is all by the way, rumors and leaks as of right now. So, UDNA architecture will be launching or should be launching next year according to the leaks and rumors from this uh, leaker. No, just what's going on going around on the internet. So, let's get to the article from Video Cards. Earlier, this leaker shared claims about UDNA, AMD's graphics architecture set to replace RDNA series sometimes next year. The same leaker has already re revealed that AMD plans for UDNA-based GPUs to enter mass production in the second quarter of next year. This indicates the launch is still far off. Yo, yeah. If they're going to go to mass production second quarter of next year, the launch should be third quarter, fourth quarter. So, yeah, still many months, long time, uh, far off, right? Article goes on to say, um, yeah, the launch is still far off, especially as AMD prepares to release its RDNA 4 GPUs in the near future. According to the leaker uh, named Zhang, the UDNA architecture will utilize the N3E process. It appears that feedback from gamers has finally been considered. A new flagship GPU is reportedly in development. The rumors from the leaker extend beyond graphics. There's also mention of Zen 6 CCD being manufactured on the same node in 3E, along with a suggestion that the IOD die will finally be upgraded to N4C. The current architecture still relies on the same IOD as its predecessor, so this upgrade would be a long expected improvement. And there's a screenshot of uh, the leaker making that uh, you know claim and this is all from the chip hell forums which is uh which we're we're seeing a lot of leaks come from uh in the past uh, recent weeks and months zhang also claims that amd is working on more x3d chips of course ryzen x3d chips are selling like hotcakes people love them they sell more than the the non x3d uh parts or skews right especially the next gen generation halo this is successor to the strix halo so that's an apu amd is reportedly exploring the possibility of stacking 3d vcache on both the cpu and gpu which is pretty interesting this would mean that both the CCD and IOD could feature X3D tiles, as the current Halo design is a chipset configuration with graphics on the larger tile. Finally, it is mentioned that the next generation Sony PlayStation 6 APU will include a 3D V cache. While Microsoft has not finalized a decision on this feature for you know the Xbox. Um, so AMD's 3D vCache technology has proven to provide a significant boost in gaming for gaming performance. So that's really it for uh, today, guys. This video, um, few things here. AMD will return to the flagship SKUs, uh, you know, graphics arena with UDNA architecture late next year. Also, uh, they're going to be. Rumors suggest that they're going to be um, 
utilizing 3D vCache on both the CPU and GPU, and the Sony PlayStation 6 APU will include the 3D vCache. And also that the, they're going to be working on X3D chips for the next generation APU uh, Halo, successor to the Strix Halo. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. In my opinion, I think another new generation of NVIDIA dominating all across the board from the top to the bottom, even though they're going to, um, there's challenges, right? Because prices, it's all about prices. Intel Arc B580, Intel Arc B570 are here and they're selling. People are buying them. Um, they're selling out. And I hope we continue to see more competition in the graphics card arena. I hope Qualcomm decides to release a discrete graphics card based on Adreno. It is a challenge, however, you have to compete. Also, I hope more companies release uh, discrete graphics cards. Um, hopefully, Imagination, Imagination Technologies, hopefully more threads steps up their competition. That's just what I want. More competition, better for us gamers, better for consumers. Prices get driven down, innovation goes up. It's just overall uh, good. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, everyone. Peace.